So the government has overstepped its bounds, way overstepped its bounds. God never, ever ordained government to do what government is doing today. It's way beyond God's intention. Government had a simple purpose, punish evildoers and protect those who do good. And to show you how perverted the government is, it is basically committed to protecting the people who do evil and punishing the people who do good. It's been reversed. Millions of people pouring in over the border, millions of people committing crimes, and you want to defund the police, and you want to, you want to eliminate any kind of laws. So the government, you can tell, is flipped on its head, and it is going to punish the people who want to uphold the law, and it's going to reward the people who want to violate the law. And you have it to the degree that in the name of an emergency, the president or whoever influences him, he's, he's, uh, he's the ventriloquist dummy, but uh, <laughs> whoever is influencing him, he's just making willy-nilly laws all over the place, like you, you're not vaccinated, you lose your job and things like that. It's just endless. Uh, that, that isn't protecting anybody. When, when the government reaches into your life and begins to destroy it, destroying businesses, destroying jobs, destroying lives, when the, when the government proudly says, we now have a new passport with an X on it, for those of you who aren't male or female, um, we, we are proud to announce the first transgender general in the health services. That's the great achievement of a government that is completely corrupt, completely corrupt. To submit to that government, how would we ever submit to that government? And least of all, if they told us not to meet, we would defy that because we would declare, as we did declare, Christ is the head of the church, not Caesar. Okay? Be sure to smash that like button, ding that bell, and don't forget to subscribe.